إن عدة شهور عند الله إثنا عشر شهرا في كتاب الله يوم خلق السماوات والأرض منها أربعة حرم ذلك الدين القيم فلا تظلموا فيهن أنفسكم My dear respectful brothers and sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has when he created our earth, first when he created the pen, and he created the earth, and he created the heavens and all that, and he created us, he has given us a hint of his knowledge, of his, about him, about his creations. Today, the topic of our Friday sermon is Happy New Year. It's Happy New Year, but I believe maybe one or two of the audience may know what I mean Happy New Year today. Some may say it's yet to be even January. But my point, my Happy New Year, is that today we are in the first day of a new year. The first day of New Year is just today. And in this situation, our, this New Year is called the Lunar New Year. It's a lunar calendar. That lunatic calendar is, that, is the calendar of Islam. So Muslim's year is based on lunatic the moon, and that is the one which we have started today. And so inshallah, and now we are in that happy new year. And, but this, uh, this happy new year has its own basic rules and regulations and systems to follow. And it's not like other new years where you celebrate go for dancing, for chanting, and, and chanting all the time, running up and down, drinking wine. It's not that uh, way. This is not how to commemorate our lunatic calendar New Year. But it has other purposes. And one of those main purposes is that we review what we did last year and reform our actions, our, all our system. So it is, Islam is all about lifestyle. So every year we have to renew our lifestyle. But we have to know the year, when the year is beginning. And that's why it seems strange even today. If I say Happy New Year at this time, people will say this guy is in another planet. We are not in another planet, we are in the real planet. Why it is in the real planet? In this real planet is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us in his Quran, بَعْدَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ إِنَّ عِدَّةَ الشُّهُورِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ إِثْنَا عَشَرَ شَهْرًا فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ This ayah is an ayah number 136 in Surah Tawbah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us indeed the number of the month is in the book of Allah, in the sight of Allah is 12 months which are in the book of Allah. These 12 months Allah says inna is indeed, in fact, in reality Idda tashuhuri, Idda is numbering, counting, or the number. That means if you count, indeed the counting of the, uh, of the year, the counting of a time, all becomes, when you calculate and count it, it becomes 12 months. So the number of the months in Islam are 12 months. And those 12 months are in the book of Allah. Which book of Allah? They are in the book of Allah, which is the first book 
which was completed, written, before the earth was even made, and before the planets were made. That's uh, as we are learning from Hadith, that the Prophet says, in awwalu ma khulat al qalam, at the first thing which was ever created was a pen. And that pen, Allah said, write down, write this, write this and this. So the pen and, and the book were first written before any other thing was ever was created or said. That the pen and the book were there. That book is called Lark al Mahfud, the sacred table. That in the sacred table, everything that we have today comes from what is written in that table, sacred table. And that is our Quran is only some first is copied from that book, which is the sacred table. It is in the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That one uh, Allah has written uh, 12 months uh, there in the crown of the year. The cycle of the year is 12 months. Then Allah said, these are the 12 months. And among them, there are four, which are sacred months. And Allah says, فَلَا أَنفُسَكُمْ Do not wrong yourself within them. Do not transgress each other. Do not create any problem, do not fight in these months. These months, some ulama says that it goes back to the all 12 months. So it means throughout the year, do not create any mischief, any corruption, any mistreatment with others or with God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just make everything plain and clear through, throughout the 12 months. But within the 12 months, there are four sacred months. If you do any mischief in these four sacred months, then the sin will be doubled or tripled or maybe ten times. So it's worse. Why it is this? And, and then Allah says, and these twelve months, uh, the one is which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has started, يَوْمَ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ the day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the earth and the heavens. It starts from that day. Why it starts from that day? Let's now speak academically. I hope everybody can understand, those of you who have gone to universities, when we say this from academic perspective, then we lead it to the eye of the Quran, and then they match. If they don't match anything that is science and the Quran, if they don't match each other, it is the science which needs more verification. And it should be reviewed. Now this way, if we say uh, from the uh, astronomical or astrological perspective, or say even, even the physical studies shows this, that the Earth our Earth is one of the planets, and the planet is that of, as, as far as we know, we know nine planets, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, Pluto, those we know them, including the Earth. And the Earth is the, one, uh, the second smallest one in size. This Earth, we are on it, and the planets surrounding it, all of them, they revolve as an orbit is they revolve to the sun. And the sun consists of millions of small stars or small planets that are that coming close to each other and together they give us this strong light. Then the sun is there and all those and the number of planets. We know up to now nine, but it could be nine hundred, so they all make round. That rotation of the Earth is one of them. So they go round like this very fastly. Indeed, uh, they say it is about 1,500 kilometers per second. We are moving like this. 
rotating. And that we are revolving around the sun. That sun we are revolving around it. The sun itself revolves around the what is called Milky Way galaxy. There are the sun, planet, then galaxy, then galaxies. There are so many things that we are yet to discover. We are our limit is is just based on our eyes. When we look at somewhere, we only look at like one kilometer as far as we can see. That's how our vision is limited. Then our knowledge is also limited. But still, you can learn more and more and more. And then. And you see that when the, the sun also revolves around it is Milky Way galaxy, which are very open space. There are many other things that we already know, but it is, we cannot uh, explain them well scientifically. All those things, they complete their cycle, like uh, when there are several years of round, several years of orbiting at the end they come to their original base like you have a clock and that clock you are fixing the clock it starts from you start it from 12 and you made from you come back to 12 it's same like that everything is revolving round round like this and coming back to its origin when they are coming to that origin then and the scientists, some says it takes like 200, over 200 million of years, some say says several thousand years. So let's say that of several thousand years, most probably it was recently discovered that those realms, it became complete when this first was revealed. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this first, that is the day the the cycle of the planet around the sun became, came back to its origin. And at the same time, the rotation or the revolve, revolve of the sun to its Milky Way galaxy came back to its origin. Then it became back again. It used to start one more time. Then That's how, then Allah said, today is the day when I am the earth rotation came back to its origin and Allah is telling us about Iddah Tashur and the life in Ashar in Iddah Tashur and the life in Ashar Sharan Fikta Billah That's how our calendar is based on that rotation which is based on the uh, on the moon it's a lunar calendar and that is the one we are on today but maybe one or two of us know uh, that it is this way now this year now it we are in two one thousand four hundred and thirty six where at the other side we are in 2015 at the end of 2015 and the beginning of 1436 that is where we are and our month is our the names we need to memorize also our, the names of our the calendar, which are Muharram, Safar, Rabi al Awal, Rabi al Thani, Jamaat al Awal, Jamaat al Thani. Let me repeat again. It's Muharram, number one, which is now. Tonight it's going to be the second, Muharram. And then Safar, Rabi al Awal, Rabi al Thani, Jamaat al Awal, Jamaat al Thani. Rajab, Sha'ban, Ramadan, Shawal, Dhul Qa'da, Dhul Hijjah. So then we see that is the cycle of the months. But what is the main point of maintaining and sustaining this calendar? It is first that we should know about our ibadahs. How do we worship? What is the time we pray? If that starts from praying Salatul Dhuhr, what time Salatul Dhuhr starts? Then it, it is based on that lunar. Because we, you know our prayer, if you have no watch, all you follow is to look at the sun. Even if you have no sun, you 
uh, make your own best estimation. So you look at the sun when the sun is on top of you, it's low. When it goes a little bit there, then it is as when it, it sets down, right, setting sunset, it's Maghrib, then you follow that. The, that is how we calculate our lunar calendar on the day and the moon. Because when the moon disappears and you can't see the moon, everybody is sleeping. That's the time. You are not even counting it because you should be sleeping at that time. And there are many other uh, benefits of sleeping at the night time, especially after the moon disappears. So all those things, uh, we, we, we preserve our ibadat based on the lunar, lunar calendar. We, also, we know our timing, we know our history, we know, uh, we know our development stages and historical, and, uh, whatever we have passed through. And we know everything the way they are. And we know the calculation. You know also the calculation of the mathematics. You will learn through that um, system. And above all that, it's all about you. When there's a new year, you calculate what you have done that year. Actually, you have to have your calculation every single night. Calculate what you did last this day and try to correct it. And every year, you make the general auditing with yourself. You self-audit, and then you start reforming yourself. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salam. My dear respectful brothers and sisters, this topic today, which is about the Happy New Year that we are in today, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained us to preserve our calendar. And Allah has shown us the difference between the day and night, and how we should protect it, the, uh, this calendar. It's first of all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in another verse, وَعْدَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ وَجَعَلْنَا اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ آيَتَيْنِ فَمَحَوْنَا آيَةَ اللَّيْلِ وَجَعَلْنَا آيَةَ النَّهَارِ مُبْسِرَا and we have appointed the night and the day as two signs. Then we have made the sign of the day illuminating so that you may seek bound from your Lord and that you may know the number of the years and the reckoning. And we have explained everything in detail, in full explanation in the book of Allah. Means Allah is saying, We made the night and the day two signs. Then we cover the night, the, the sign of the night. We put a cover on it. Why? Because when you are sleeping in the night, you take your blanket and cover your maybe your face or whatever. Or you cannot sleep where there is light illuminating on you. When the light is on, you turn off the light. Then Allah has turned off the light of general light, the big light that is shared by all creatures. He turns off when they are sleeping, the cycle of the night time. And then he turns on when they are waking up. He says, now it's on, wake up. So they wake up and then they seek the bonds of Allah. They start working, learning, doing a lot of things, making money. Then it is the daytime. And why Allah is saying all that mubsiratan? It is something in which you can see something clearly. It is visible. Where the night 
could be invisible. But when it has a moon, uh, then it is visible, limited visible uh, level, in which you only need it for the time being. You need it, it's also making, giving you relaxed and, and uh, being in tranquility at that time. Your mind is in peace, your body is getting peace and relaxed, and that is how it is in the night time, even within the moon. But the daytime, it has, in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Allah is making the, the light of the of the light of the, of the sun is called Diya. Diya is burning light. It's a light that can burn you. Like almost a fire. You turn on you you set on fire somewhere and that fire you need it. But when you come close to it, if you go close to it, it will burn you. So the sun is just like that fire. But, uh, so it, is, it has that burning light. Why? Because we need it. We need in the daytime to have energy, to be strong, to be also sweating. And, and we need it. It causes vitamin D. So we need that vitamin D and energy and all that our body needs, our eyes need, all those things. It comes in the daytime. But when it's nighttime, you need to relax. Because you burnt yourself in the daytime, and the nighttime you have to relax. Then Allah gives us another light, which is dim light. That dim light is the qamr, the moon. And that is the one we use for our calendar. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordained it. Why? Because it is, uh, it is a reflection of mirrors. It's a mirror. Where the other one, if it is extremely hot, it's a reflection of punishment. But this one is, a, is reflecting to, uh, to the mirrors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why it is based on, the, uh, our calendar is based on the mirrors. And also, why Allah then says, "Mu'siratan li tabtabu fadlam min Rabbikum wa li ta'lamu adad al-sinina wa al-hisaba." So you will learn. So you have to seek uh, the bond of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and at the same time, you learn the uh, numbers of the months and the years, and at the same time, wal hisaba and uh, you know mathematics. You learn mathematics. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made all that to, so that we learn a lot of things within it. But all those things that we are learning are going back to our own interest, which is that we learn something in this world and we keep renewing it every year. And that's why our years are based on this calendar. And this calendar should be maintained because and most of our actions comes through the counting of the numbers of the days and the history and the months. That's why at the end of the ayah, Allah says, uh, And everything, we have detailed everything in the book, in a very detailed uh, explanation. The, so the, you learn everything through that way, and this is the time we should know. First of all, we have to be familiar with our calendar. Not familiar, but we have to be memorizing all the time. We have to memorize it. We have to put it on our wall, and our work should be based on this calendar. Or you can have the other calendars, but at the same time, this one is very important. At least you use it for your worshiping. And it is not only Muslims that have a different calendar. You know, 2015 is the calendar of the Christianity. There are other, all the religion groups of religions, they have their own calendars. Hindus are up to 15,000 years now. Buddhists are over 10,000 years. They are in now. Where we are in this, in the Miladi. The one is Jesus born, the, which was based on the birth of Jesus, and uh, whether it's true or not, is uh, to 2015. 
and uh, the Islamic one, which is based on the migration of the Muslims from Mecca to Medina, is based on that. Uh, it, it is now 1,436. There are there are even countries that are. Um, it's actually 1,437. So then there are uh, even small countries that have their own calendars. Say an example, Ethiopia, now there are uh, 2007 or 2006, where we are 2015. So um, people have different uh, calendars, and Islam Muslim calendar, which is, which is universal one, because Muslims are at universal level, it is this one. And we should maintain it the way it is, and always follow it up, but always to renew our life, to learn that lesson. It's not a matter of celebration, but a matter of self-renewal. Inshallah, we'll see you in the next video.